Well, sure. It's been a uh, an interesting uh, and rewarding, and I think uh, extremely productive four years. I think uh, we've had a diverse board in many ways, though that uh, you know didn't agree about everything, but agreed about some very significant things and accomplished a lot, and basically did pretty much what we said we'd do. But uh, during difficult economic times, we've you know balanced the budget, uh, reduced the size of county staff while maintaining. Uh, high quality public services and upgrading the county's bond rating. That's something a lot of people can't say. Um, very proud of the fact that we have probably got the most open and transparent local government or county government you can find anywhere in Maryland now with the ethics ordinance, the lobbying reform, bringing the meetings uh, for online streaming, and of course they've always been televised. Um, very proud of what we've done with regard to land use and development, uh, good planning. I think. Uh, the comprehensive plan that we spent two and a half years on is a model for Maryland and uh, really an outstanding balance of you know, from thinking in terms of quality of life, accommodating projected growth, protecting the environment, addressing infrastructure issues. Uh, of course, everyone on the board is proud of what we've done to try to catch up with schools, deal with the overcrowding, but to focus on the rehabilitation and renovation of the old schools, uh, the replacement of Linganore. Uh, you know, Carroll Manor, uh, Walkersville Elementary, uh, West Frederick Middle School, the project beginning at, at Lincoln Elementary, things like that. There's more to do, but this board's uh, taken a big step in that direction. I'm very proud of that. Uh, so that's, you know, I could go on and on. You do a lot in four years. There's a lot of people focus on one or two issues during an election, but the fact is that county government uh, deals with uh, uh, all elements of the community and quality of life and uh, it's been an honor to serve the community. It's been a privilege to work with an excellent staff. And though we've had a few rocky moments around some key issues, it's been a, a real privilege to work with this board as well. I, I guess the bottom line is that I uh, have always been involved in community uh, issues. I sat on a variety of boards and commissions, wrote columns for both newspapers, worked with various local organizations. You know, it's by nature to be uh, involved in the effort to get people more informed about and involved in the, you know, the the civic life of their community. And uh, you know, for 48 of my 52 years, I haven't been an elected official, and so I just go back to that. But uh, I can't imagine not continuing to be involved. I mean, I, I live here. This is my home. I love this community. We have a a lot to protect and to plan for. And uh, uh, even if I'm not one of five. Uh, people sitting in that room every day. Uh, I already know from experience there's a lot I can do to try to uh, make a positive difference in our community and I will find a way to do that.